Welcome back, everybody. Today we are at Joanne's, where it is the home of handmade happiness, apparently. Not too sure about that. I only come here once a year for our annual Halloween checkup. But I'm excited to share that with you. Before we go in, I did want to say a special thank you to all the patrons who help support the channel. If you're interested in joining our Fright Club, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Let's go ahead and head on in. First thing we're going to see here is a display of skeletons. Now, I did see a lot of these little uh, print displays there around the store, which makes me very excited that they're really getting in the Halloween spirit this year. I'm not too sure about the price on that skeleton, though. $100, but Joanne's is one of those places where uh, everything seems to be on sale. There were 40% off signs already. I'm not sure why they need to do that, especially given that Halloween shopping pretty much hasn't even started for most people. So nothing really should be on sale or being clearanced out, God forbid, at this point. But I think it's just one of those marketing gimmicks. Again, I'm not a big shopper of Joanne, so I don't know how that works or if they use coupons like Michael's. But I suspect they're playing these pricing games with us that nobody really enjoys. Hopefully, though, we will find some enjoyment out of some of these products. They do have some neat stuff like this little spider light here. It's kind of odd. But I like it. And of course, we got our solar bat. I assume it's solar. What I really like, though, is coming up here. So we got a little guy that comes out of the tree. But look at this zombie that's like poking around a tree. I absolutely love that. You could put that guy not just on a tree, but like around the corner of your wall or peeking out from a tombstone. I could see a lot of uses for him. Really like that. They did have a wide array of these skeleton figures. Everything from little mini skeletons, those full skeletons we just saw. These skeletons that make lots of noise, some that don't, and some that are orange. I like the guy with the pumpkin head. Not really sure I like the orange body. I think they could have made that a little more interesting. I guess they did make that a little more interesting with that sound effect. Look at this skull planter pot thing. He is horrendously expensive. $60. I bought a very similar one from the Ross store that wasn't plasticky. It was like a ceramic. And I don't remember how much I paid for it. It might have been. I'm sure it was a half price or less of that. And it was so much better quality. But again, with the coupons and the weird pricing gimmicks, I don't know, maybe it is a similar price. But quality can't compare. All right, we have some interesting products all over the place. Now, this is going to be, unfortunately, a long video. I am excited that they had merchandise on all of the shelves, um, but I seem to remember where I visited them last year. They had even more stuff that went all around the store, so you want to check out all the end caps and everything as you walk around. But a lot of this merchandise is appearing here on these shelves and on other shelves. It was really kind of hard to keep duplicates off the screen, but I did my best, and now I'm going to do my best to try and fill 20 minutes of my mindless talking with you. They have some interesting doormats, but again, this is a situation where we've got a couple here on this shelf. We're going to see a whole other shelf of them here in a moment. We've got some more skulls and skeleton pieces. Now, this is absolutely unique, though. A skeleton sewing machine. I think that fits right in here in Joanne's. Um, so that is actually pretty creative. I haven't seen that anywhere else and I really like it. Here's that entire shelf full of doormats that I was talking about. Here are the repeats. Sorry about that. But there are a lot of designs. Love the skulls here. But I really love changing out my doormat every year. So I've actually developed quite the little collection of them, which is pretty handy. So when I'm recycling my themes, you know, I don't like to do the same year to year, but they will pop up after a few years again, and I'll have a doormat that will match it. 
The other thing I like to use the doormats for are to hide those triggers for your animated props, the ones that you step on and it makes something happen. I will use these to disguise those. Sometimes I'll put them in obvious places, but sometimes they're pretty sneaky and you'll catch a person or two. All right, here we are continuing to look at the doormats. There's only, I don't know what, six or eight more to go, but I think some of these are going to repeat. So, and we saw all those. Oh, here we, of course, have Boo. I like this Boo with the ghosts on it, but then we've got the, we've got Boo's. Ah, that's so tired. It's been out for so many years, and I think that's going to be one of those phrases that now we're going to see every single Halloween for the rest of our lives. I kind of wish they would come up with something a little bit more creative, um, a little bit new, but I guess it's new to somebody. All right, got a bunch of lighting here. I don't think if you're really wanting to get lights, you should buy them at the craft store. You're probably going to be paying a gross premium for those. Got some light-up signage. This is the sort of thing that Target excels at. Um, stuff like that. And these little, ne these whole neon effects, I think they are really cute and cool, but you're going to be paying too much by getting them here. I can't even tell how much they cost, but it's going to be too much. And they're so small. Anyway, moving on, we've got some skeleton things. I mean, I don't know what this is. Obviously, you've got some, I don't know, rib cage pieces to make a lantern. Got a dragon skull and some baby dragons. Definitely good if you're doing a medieval theme. Or are they, is that a, it's either a dinosaur or it could be a dragon. Not sure which. Little alien. Oh, look at this. We have a rainbow snake. So I didn't see any other rainbow products. Actually, I think there was one right there in the corner and we just skipped right past it. But uh, they have a couple rainbow skeletons. Not sure why you would want that. It's not creepy at all. Unlike this two-headed dog. He barks a lot. Can you believe that oversized skeleton was $500? You can get the 12-foot skeleton from Home Depot for like half of that. Anyway, moving on, we've got some boxes. I will say I love the boxes. They have all these different designs that are actually quite beautiful. And when you open them up, you know, you don't even have that plain box inside. They continue. Not just the same uh, artwork inside, but a complimentary bit of artwork. I think it looks really great. I would actually like to use this to store a bunch of my Halloween stuff. If only they made them a little bit bigger. If you did want them, but not so in your face, you have a couple more toned down designs. Perfect for fall. You've got these nice plaid designs, but not too many of them. Let's get back to the Halloween books here. So everything is very witch themed here. Um, it's all written in the stars, I guess astrology, witches, happy Halloween, so forth. Got a couple of cauldrons. I will say I do like the imagery that's emblazoned there on them as well. And it's interesting that those are kind of red toned. And then you get down to these very artistic looking pumpkins, also red and light up. I really do like the color of that. I think it looks very elegant and nice and would make a nice witch theme. All right, so we've got some more boxes here. I guess these are more treat boxes. Looks like you could put stuff inside of them. Has that nice little artwork on the top of the box that coordinates with the sides. It's very well done. Ooh, love this guy with the skull. Again, that skull's a bit reminiscent of the Target brand. They're kind of that sort of like cartoonish looking skeleton look, which I actually kind of like. All right, more boxes now. I did not show in this video, I cut it out, there was another giant wall of boxes just over on the other side of the store. I don't know how they're going to sell all of these. Is there that much demand for all of these boxes? I just, I don't understand it. But uh, again, I wouldn't mind having a few myself to store some things in. But what are you going to store there? Certainly not props that are big like this witch here with her spell book. I'm a little disappointed they didn't have a display of that. I might like to see what she does or says. 
continuing that sort of reddish purplish uh, color scheme. Got a few table runners and pillows and whatnot over here. More of those reddish pumpkins and just some general, again, witch decor. I don't know why they're associating these crafting people with witches. Oh my gosh, look at that. So you know how I feel about the velvet pumpkins. Now we have a velvet pumpkin, well, a two-tone. It is red and black. Oh my gosh. We are never going to escape the velvet pumpkins. All right. Look at that uh, tray with some imagery. We've got a crystal ball and some jars, all again in those deep red and purple tones. I think it looks really good. It's not just a phase. It isn't. This kind of looks like it's a moon and it lights up as well. And I really love the skull with the snake that is going through the eyeball. Very cool. Potion bottles have some interesting tops. And of course, got some witch's boots down there at the bottom. I really need to up my game with the potion bottles this year, since I am going to be doing a bit of a witch theme in my kitchen. But even as I look around, so a lot of this is very decor-like, right? You've got mirrors and things that you can hang up on the wall. But it kind of, to me, feels a little hard to decorate... It's overtly Halloween. I mean, I suppose if you wanted kind of witchy decor in general, it'd be great for very subtle decor. But I think for Halloween, we need to go a little bit over the top. So believe it or not, those were just a couple of the aisles over on the side. This is the main aisle area, again, with lots of merchandise. So this is kind of the kitcheny area with serving things. I love that spider. It's very artistic as well. Got lots of bowls. Of course, the one that says pick your poison. And then our dish towels. Lots and lots of different dish towels. Let's see. Do you think there will be a... Uh, here's the booze. I mean, we have boo. Nope. What luck. There isn't. Do have some interesting plates and serving dishes. So we got a little three skeleton tray thing. And this is... Horrible packaging. Look at this. They put the cover, a big black uh, piece of cardboard, right over the design of the plate itself. Unbelievable. All right. Well, we have more dish towels here. Do you think we're going to see it over here? Lots of spooky, happy things, pumpkins, whatnot. I don't see any. All right. Good for Joanne's. I must say, though, a lot of this stuff kind of feels like the the bowls and whatnot that I tend to find at the Goodwill store. I know it's been a long time since I've done one of my thrift store shopping videos. We'll have to get back to those pretty soon. Um, but, you know, a lot of this stuff kind of ends up there. I guess it's those sort of things that you think are kind of cute and want to buy in the spur of the moment, but you don't really have any desire to keep because, honestly, they're not really all that memorable. But maybe we will find a diamond in the rough here somewhere do like these signs that have that built-in light. Um, I made a similar coffin sign for my Dracula theme last year, and I rigged up a lighting effect right over it as well, so I kind of like how they have that integrated there right into the sign itself. But don't think that's something that's unique that you would find here at Joann's. I have seen that same sign or something very similar in various locations already. So I don't know if it's like the same manufacturer that just keeps selling the same things to different stores just with their own branding on it, or if they create their own stuff and just rip off everybody else's designs. Who knows? All right, there's more packaging that covers up the plate design. That's crazy. Just when I was hoping for something a little bit more spooky, you get a bat and this guy. Not really sure what was going on with that skull, but he is kind of creepy, and I like him. I guess he's some sort of door hanger or wall hanging. Not really sure. Probably a wall hanging, because look, they've got some signs you can put up there. Wicked witch and a grumpy old toad live here. All right, coffins. I bought that same three-compartment coffin, much smaller, from Target last year for $5 each, I think, and I filled them with Halloween candy and use them on my party table centerpieces. So, you never know how you can put some of this stuff to good use. I certainly wouldn't turn back if I were you. There's so much more fun stuff to see here. Bat hangs. Those witch shoes, I think we have seen in at least three places by now. 
Look how creepy that thing is, though, with the little skull face. A little skull here with a bird on it. Always love the skull and bird designs. I incorporated that a little bit into my display last year as a motif that kind of carried you through various areas within my inside display. Okay, I know we're not seeing this. We have a velvet skeleton, a whole velvet skeleton, albeit a little mini one, and orange. But come on, enough with the velvet. All right, what else? Mirrors, so many different mirrors. I do like the bats on that. I will say they have a lot of bat-themed merchandise, which I'm totally happy with. Bats and spiders and creepy crawly things, I think, are the perfect Halloween decor. Especially bats, because they're kind of... I mean, I think most of us never really see bats in person very often, if ever. Um, so they're kind of cute, but they're Halloween and kind of scary, too. And now that I'm rambling on, I forgot my train of thought completely. A little blindsided by, yet again, more witch shoes. How many pairs of those ceramic witch shoes do you think they are going to sell this year? Is there that much demand, really? I'm a hot mess. Yes, I am. Thank you very much. At first, I thought that was going to light up somehow, but it's not. It's just a little wall box. I like that little one with the hey boo. Kind of cute. Oh my gosh, what is, why, why, why do we need a skeleton figurine sitting on a toilet on his laptop? Why, we have another one just sitting reading a book, that's fine, we have some in the bathtub, not sure what that's all about, and whatever happens, just the creepy skeleton imagery with a pumpkin like that other one, do we need a loving pair of skeletons wearing hats, no less, in a bathtub? It's almost as bad as these yoga ones, which I cannot stand, the yoga skeletons. But at least that one was kind of unique with doing that little backwards bendy pose. Obviously, I am not a yoga enthusiast and don't know what that's called. But I don't think I'm going to need to, not in my real day-to-day -day life. Certainly not in my Halloween fantasy. All right, got some skull options here again. Skull with ravens, absolutely love that. And I will say they do have a good selection of various types of skulls if you want one. I like the little car with the giant skull on it. That was pretty cute. If you were worried they were going to run out of skeletons, I don't think you have to worry. They do have an abundance here. Not really looking at them closely because, again, they were kind of all over the place on various shelves. So let's move on to the cooking implements. Not my forte, but I do need some interesting new cooking recipes for some Halloween treats. I'll probably try and explore that a little bit more this year. If you're interested in socks, I think they have about a thousand different pairs here for you to choose from. They will keep you cozy while you're putting together a Halloween wreath. So they did have a few full wreaths for you to uh, enjoy if you wanted to, but certainly if you wanted to assemble your own, there are endless bits and bobs you can add to create your own Halloween masterpiece, which if you do, be sure to let me know. I want to see your pictures. Of course, if just carving a simple pumpkin's your thing, they've got some carvable pumpkins here. And if that's too much effort like it is for me, I hate carving pumpkins. I won't carve them real. I won't carve them fake. I'm just going to buy light up pumpkins for the rest of my life, probably. But you have a lot of options here if you did want to make one yourself. They like these odd shaped pumpkins. So here is the display that you see sort of across from the store entrance when you walk in. A lot of this merchandise we've already seen, so again, we're going to skip kind of through it. Nice little light up skeleton in a book. Again, something that you've kind of seen everywhere under the sun. Another, oh, look, at least we've got some bats on a skull. I like that, of course. You can never go wrong with a skull on books. I think that's a Perfect, simple, easy way to decorate that always looks nice and spooky and effective. Much like those skulls with the ravens. I do like these skeletons that are kind of popping out of pumpkins. This pumpkin is, of course, got a little bit of a red tint to it. Got some gourds and some table runners and whatnot. Decorative trays. Happy Halloween. You know, I didn't see a single happy haunting piece of merchandise here. Unless there might have been a dish towel. They tend to put that on those a lot. But I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get to see such a fabulous name. 
emblazoned throughout the star. All right, more decorative things here to end our walkthrough. Love the little lanterns. I bought one of those from TJ Maxx a couple of years ago for my sleepy hollow themed living room. Be sure to check out my old videos if you want to see all those walkthroughs that I'm talking about. You know, I once did a witch silhouette just like this out of wood. Story for another day, though, because we are out of time and out of merchandise here at Joanne's. But we have several more store walkthroughs to do as we get closer to Halloween. I've got more DIYs, product reviews, and so forth. Lots of product reviews stacking up, so be sure to stay tuned and subscribe if you're interested. Till then, take care. Happy haunting.